Hi, I'm Barry. This is Mega City Gaming, and this is the next part of the Shattered Storm Vault build and paint. Enjoy. Next. So these are dried. It only takes like three or four minutes to dry. I've given these like 10 or 10 or 15 minutes, and I obviously I got changed for work in the meantime. Um, so these corners, there's a little bit of a gap little bit of a gap where they join so it could be a good idea to go in either with the cutter knife or the scraper and go in at an angle 45 degree angle to the corner the gap and just give the scrape a little bit and that kind of makes it f more <clears throat> more of a less of a gap the uh, bits of plastic that flake off fill in the gap a little bit and also there's not like a jutting piece either I mean if it juts even a little bit it's a lot more obvious so go in and do that on all four sides and the paint, most of the time, the paint will just fill that in anyway. Uh, this one's a little bit bigger, so let's see if we can fix that. Let's see if we can fix that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I just got a notification that the Rugby World Cup match will be cancelled this Saturday. I don't care about rugby, um, even though. It's happening just up the road for me. However, I do care about a super typhoon heading this way, which is why the uh, the matches are cancelled. I just got the notification. So if they're cancelling, they're cancelling the matches. Then, uh, yeah, the forecast is not good for this weekend. So it does mean, obviously, no spray priming outdoors. Actually, no going outdoors at all taking all the stuff outside inside which will be fun right so that was quite a big gap here uh, I'd say maybe a little bit less than half a mil but uh, anyway so I, I scraped that and it has filled in the gap and it's made it a lot less obvious so it works works damn well damn well as long as the the, uh, the joins are straight it does work quite well I know some people use liquid green stuff I haven't a lot of luck with that I bought two pots and both of them were dry much I bought one pot it was dry I took it back got another pot for free and that was dry too so yeah liquid green stuff no thanks some people use that um, other people use normal green stuff I don't think normal green stuff is that easy to use for such thin gaps uh, definitely not for me anyway otherwise I know some people that use the plastic glue rub a little plastic glue across the gap and it will bond and fill in the gap which I have done sometimes it does work um, maybe I'm not doing it that well or, or whatever I'm not doing it right but it works a little bit or maybe I just imagined it worked I just imagined it worked it was all in my head all in my noggin all in my swede there we go that, that even worked yeah so that was quite a big gap along here the biggest one on this on these four and yeah that totally filled in the join and when it's painted you won't see that you'll be looking at all the dazzling colors the bright color of the uh, the blue uh, was it griffin on the top that will uh, draw people's eye away from the gaps anyway but 
yeah they're, they're really won't be that obvious because of this scraping technique yeah I'm just going to finish this one off and then I'll let you go how about that I'll let you go you may leave and uh, I'll get back back to the box of uh, scraping and grinding and bumping yeah right this is the last one that, yeah that one looks fine yeah so I'll do do the other one and then I'll get back to grinding and then I'll see you in a bit so I've nearly finished I've nearly done all of these uh, and I've decided now I've uh, scraped and grinded all of the griffins I'm going to assemble those before I finish off the last of the columns so the griffins in the instructions are numbered so yeah I probably shouldn't have chopped them all off the sprue but it doesn't matter they're not so many pieces and you, what you should do is dry fit so for example these two go together whereas these two don't so it's pretty easy just dry fit with with your, with your hands like that okay they go, they go together this bit goes on the front so hold it together and goes on the front like that okay that fits and then this bit goes on the back okay no problem there's that one and then all the rest must be the other one because there's only two right so we'll stick those together and then we'll figure out the back legs uh, they're all scraped so let's put this one together first so first we put the main body together get your glue out and just put a little bit of glue a little bit of glue on a little bit of glue a little bit of glue yeah there we go and just just along the top top of the tor torso or the, the, the spine I suppose the spine and the top of the skull because the rest of it isn't attached right there's that I'll let that dry for a second I'll put, put the other one together time management yeah time management multitasking I should put that on my resume resume yeah CV even if you speak Latin English whatever whatever here we go all right that's number two bish, bosh, bosh. and get it lined up as much as you can there is a little dovetail thing in there not a dovetail but you know what I mean um, and we are going to scrape that when it's dry so it's nice and smooth excuse my cat in the background he just had to go oh he's making a video let's go to the bathroom toilet even right I'll stick that front bit on now that one fills in the gap so I can put glue all around the inside of there all around the inside ba, 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 ba. And it just rests on there there it is and the details kind of swallow up the lines nicely it's these are really well made actually by GW well designed and actually well manufactured because uh, some products may well be designed well but if the manufacturing isn't quite so good or the plastic is not so high quality it warps in transport or it warps on the sprue or whatever anyway yeah and again that kind of swallows up the detail this one on the back is not so much yeah can you see the joint yeah you can right there that's pretty obvious right I'll figure out what to do with that I'll figure out what to do with that when it's dry because yeah no amount of pushing is going to get rid of that gap it's just the way it is if 
That's just the way it is. Song from 1990 something, probably. Not that I like that kind of music. You know, like all the bad songs, or not the bad, not necessarily bad, but the songs you really don't like get stuck in your head. Like the music that you're just not into. You're just not into that music. Why is it in my head? So sometimes I start, I'm doing the same with this one, of course. You know. Sometimes I, at work I start humming a tune and, and it turns out to be you know, something terrible. Then I override it with uh, Black Sabbath or something because they did memorable tunes. Black Sabbath override. Anyway, I'm just wobbling on, wobbling on. I'm going on, going on and on. Right, yeah, again, you can see the gap here. This side, you can see it, it's not too bad, it's not too bad, right. So I'll figure out what to do with that in a minute. It might be all right. It might be all right. I'm not too fussed, really. Uh, right, now we figure out the back legs back legs so looking at the picture on the instructions um, yeah so I've got a whole bunch of them so let's figure out which one's which really I suppose they've got to cover up that bit haven't they So it would make sense that they join. Oh, I see, they join like that. Yeah, okay, like that. Right, figured it out. And uh, the best way to do it is once this uh, body is put together, you put it onto the plinth and then you stick the back part on uh, because it has to join up with the feet and the thing. So that's how you do it. So, yeah, stick that, uh, stick that on, stick that on, and it, it helps you position the uh, helps you position the tail and the back legs with the plinth without leaving any gaps. So that is much better. Oh, look at that! We. <clears throat> So I, I had the right parts. I just it just wasn't positioned correctly, <coughs> and it's hard to do if it's not already <coughs> on the platform. So again, uh, st stick this on. Stick this on the platform. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, despite my dry fitting and all that nonsense, uh, the platform is the most important part. So. Go, we do a bit, of, a bit of dry fitting, boom, and boom, there we go, and then <clears throat> stick it on. So, a bit of glue on the foot, a bit of glue around there, all over. go yeah <clears throat> a bit of glue on the foot a bit of glue all over <clears throat> a bit of glue all over yeah <clears throat> and boom there we go now that is a lot better so like I said Put the two pieces of body together, stick it on the plinth, and then stick the back legs on, and it will fit nicely onto this, and there won't be any big gaps like I had a minute ago. So, problem solved. Allow me to do the hard work so you don't have to. Thank you very much. Right, now I'm going to finish off. Um, oh no, before I do that, I'm going to get rid of this line on the back 
uh, on the spine line on the spine using my scrapey scrape I might even use a dab of glue wipe a dab of glue along the spine because it'll be pretty obvious if there's a line down the middle That, no, actually, maybe, maybe not. So, if you scrape a little bit across the spine, the bits of plastic get embedded in the gap. And that helps to fill it in. That is a lot better. And then I'll do the bit around the back legs where the back legs join even though it's still kind of gluey I should probably wait till it's dry but yeah I'm kind of impatient in that respect kind of impatient in that respect oh yeah there we go that is a bit better and then carrying on the spine down to the tail just uh, a bit because it does curve out of sight so just the bit that's visible that's a lot better that is much better right I'll wait till that's completely dry and then maybe do a little bit more but yeah and these gaps, I might get a bit of green stuff on that. Maybe. Before I prime it. Um, anyway. So I'm going to do this one, the same thing. And then I'm going to scrape the rest of that. And then I'll be back. So. Actually, um, I'll do the painting and the green stuffing in another video so like subscribe comment below thank you very much